Mr. Shaw, can I just follow up? I, I didn't understand your answer to the ranking member or to the chairman. Did, did you say, so you do attend dinners with industry leaders where they pay to see you speak? Was that a yes or a no? I didn't, I didn't hear. No, I, I attend many, many events, some of which I'm invited to speak at. Where and they don't pay, they don't pay. And many, many don't pay, and some are like paid conferences and others. But one of the things- Wait, wait I'm sorry, sure. wait, wait, that, that was a yes and a no. So let, let's just go back. Do, do you attend events where people pay to see you I speak? I have attended where people pay to attend the event. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it's important for us to, uh, to meet potential applicants, American innovators and entrepreneurs who want to scale up their technology. Applicants for loan programs? Applicants for uh, DOE funding. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, th you think it's a good idea to go to events where people are trying to get federal money and they're paying to see you? They're not paying to see me. I thought you just said you spoke at events where people paid. Not to see me. I mean, I'm not that important. <laughs> You're the... <laughs> wow. You learn new things every day. You, you are... You, what, what's, what's your title? You're the, the director, director of what? Of the Loan Programs Office. You're the director of the Loan Programs for the Federal Government Department of Energy. People are, who want to get loans from the government are paying to see you, and you think that that's fine? That's not a rhetorical question. I think I've answered that, that I go to many conferences and events. I've had hundreds of stakeholder events. The goal is to get people- You're going to, to events where people are paying to see you who want money from the government. You're the director of the loan program. You, do you, you think that that's okay? You don't, you don't see any conflict of interest with that? I think given the extraordinary amount of improvements that we've made in our office based on our work with the Inspector General and the Herb Allison Report, et cetera, there, there is, I, I do not make a decision on who, whose applications are accepted in the loan programs. But office. you don't think there's an appearance of a conflict of interest that people are paying to get access to you? I think that it, it would be a conflict of interest if people are paying to, uh, to get access to me, but I don't. Okay, isn't that what they're doing when they, you, you speak at events people are paid to get into? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if, if they're not paying, that's fine, but I thought you just said a second ago they're paying. We do a lot of public events, whether it's, you know, and we are very transparent as part of this administration. Every time I get a question, which I, you know, which is hard to answer, we, we up, update our blog posts and make sure that everyone knows what we're doing, but the goal of the Loan Programs Office is to get as many people as possible to think that they can actually commercialize their technology. Well, what I think they think is that they can get access to you by paying to go to these dinners. I mean, listen, it may not be an ethics violation. I, it should be, but maybe it's not. I, I just suggest to you, I don't think it's a good look. I don't think it's a good idea to go to paid dinners where people are paying money to get access to you because in your own words, they want loans. Uh, they want loans, federal dollars, taxpayer money. They're paying money to go get access to you. I, I just, maybe that's really common. In fact, <laughs> knowing this government, it probably is really common. But if it is, it's a bad idea. I, I just submit to you. Um, I'm kind of amazed by this. Ms. Donaldson, can I just ask you about another ethics issue at the Department of Energy. I'm so glad you're here, by the way. Thank you for being here, and thank you for, for doing this job. The Wall Street Journal published back in February a report. I'm just gonna quote the headline. Here it is. Hundreds of Energy Department officials hold stocks related to agencies' work despite warnings. Have you been tracking this? Have you seen these reports? I have, Senator. So that includes, sadly, the, the Secretary of Energy who testified right there to this committee in response to questions from me that she didn't own any individual stocks. I asked her three times in April, do you own individual stocks? Three times. She said, no, absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not. Two months later, she wrote the chairman and said, actually, I did. And she didn't divest of them until May, and then she didn't tell us until a month later. Ah, uh, that's a big problem. 
And the fact that she misled this committee and didn't tell us, the fact that we have all of these energy department officials holding stocks related to the agency's work, I mean, what is going on at DOE? Do you have authority to look into this, Ms. Donaldson? Well, there's a mechanism set up in the law which you and have please you, please use your microphone, Ms. Donaldson, please. Just speak into it if you would. Oh, we maybe just hear you yeah, pull a little closer. So um, you can, in fact, hold stock and be an employee for the government. You cannot participate in any decisions that might impact the value of that stock. Um, so there's different rules that apply here, and those are can be driven by Congress or they can be driven by regulation or policy. Um, in that particular situation, um, when you spoke about your questions about other DOE employees, right. they get notices reminding them, basically. So if they own stock in Ford, they'll get a notice saying, don't forget, nothing having to do with Ford. Yeah. So those notices don't carry with them any kind of penalty. It's part of the process set up to make sure they... Mm keep track of their own, what you would view to be a conflict mm, or a okay. potential conflict. Well, my time has expired. I, I just thank you for your work, Ms. Donaldson. I'm going to send you a letter about this and, and hope that, that uh, we might ask you to look into the, and I know the ranking members already asked you to look into Secretary Grant Holmes' testimony before this committee, but I am firmly of the view that we need to change the law here. Mm -hmm. Senior executive branch officials should not be able to own individual stock, nor should members of Congress. We shouldn't be stock trading and nor should anybody who is sitting at this table. And so I, I just am distressed by it. It just piles up. And I'll just say this isn't a partisan issue. It's, it happened in the last administration. It's members of both parties of Congress. We shouldn't be doing it. I've got bipartisan legislation that would end this, and I think we need to end this practice once and for all. Thank you for your being here.